chapter one, Mishnah four, the Mishnah teaches which acts are effective for acquiring lost items that one may keep. If someone saw a lost item and fell on it in order to acquire it, and another person came and took hold of the item and lifted it, the one who took hold of it acquired it. Falling on an item is not considered a kinyan. Therefore, the first person never acquired it. Thus, when the second person lifted it, he acquired it. The Mishnah teaches that a person can sometimes acquire a lost item merely by the fact that it entered his property. If someone saw people running to take a lost item that was in his field, or he saw them running after an ownerless, ownerless lame deer that had wandered into his field, or after an ownerless young pigeons, or after ownerless young pigeons that cannot fly, and he said, my field has acquired them for me. Then his field acquired these items for him, and the people running after them cannot take them. Since the lame deer and young pigeons cannot quickly escape from his field and are easy for him to catch before they leave it, they are considered to be held in the field. A person's property can acquire for him any item that is held securely in it. In the following case, however, a person does not acquire the items in his field. However, if a deer was running through his field in its usual manner, i.e. it was not lame, or young pigeons were flying in his field, and other people were running to acquire them, and he said, my field has acquired them for me. He has said nothing, and the field does not acquire these items for him. This is be because he could not stop the deer and birds from leaving his field, and something that is not secure within a person's property cannot be acquired by him through his property. Rather, whichever person chasing them reaches them first and performs a valid kinyan on them. Rather, whichever person chasing them reaches them first and performs a valid kinyan on them acquires them.